you need to realize that it works together to conform you to the image and likeness of Christ. 2 Corinthians 3.18 says, we all with open fa face like in a mirror reflect the glory of the Lord and we go from glory to glory until we're what? Changed into his same image and likeness. And you need to go on and see what chapter 4 says right after that. It says, therefore, and when you see therefore, go back and see what it's there for. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, we faint not. Every one of us has this ministry of being conformed to the image of Jesus Christ. That's what God wants. And he loves you too much to let you be less than your best. It's like parents, true parents will correct their children. They're not worried about offending them or getting them upset, they'll love them. I, I, I believe in raising my children right. I applied the Board of Education to the seat of learning. <laughs> and all three of my children are serving God. My oldest son 63, and he's a head of a lower ministry. Our second son is 61, and he and his wife have pastored our headquarters church for 35 years. My daughter is 59, and she is the manager of the office and CFO and my administrator and bookkeeper and takes care of me since mom left. And they've all served God all the days of their life because we just, we didn't try to be their friend when it's two, three, four, five, and six, where it was mom and dad. Amen. And read the book of Proverbs and tell you that if you really love your child, you'll correct them. You know, I was a manager when I taught in Bible college five years, I managed your youth and I had to work with them. I found the cruelest thing a parent can do to their children is spoil them. Give them everything they want, never correct them, always tell them they're right, never, you know, just to agree and give them freedom and, and don't make them just and responsible. Even the police can't do much with them except put them in jail. I mean, it's cruel to spoil your children. It's cruel to be misuse your children. But there's a happy medium where you love them, correct them, and you bring them forth. And God, the Bible says, who the Lord loveth. How many have ever read that in Hebrews? Who the Lord loveth, he puts through the process.